Hello, it's Michelle from the Purple Pumpkin blog here with a review and unboxing of July's um, glossy box and here it is. It is um, a Stars and Stripes American themed box this month um, for the Independence Day uh, the 4th of July in the US and so that really does excite me because um, if you know me you know that I love all things American. I really like the um, box which on the website says limited edition. Um, I like that it's got the stars and stripes. Um, the stripes are on the side there. The box is a really nice size, they're really deep, they're really good to reuse. I've got a couple um, being used for makeup. I think one's got all of my nail polishes and stuff in it which I've now got quite the collection since I started getting these um, subscribing to these beauty boxes. Um, I'm on a three month subscription glossy box which I went to um, straight off the bat with um, glossy box having already subscribed to um, another two beauty boxes um, and this is the one that's really um, I think has been the best out of all three um, but they've all got their good and sort of low points and stuff but I can sort of discuss that in another video I'm not going to do that now um, but the products within the box as well it's they're, they're American um, at least that's what their website says um, and if I quickly go back it did say um, that full size, four full size products guaranteed and a Bella Pierre mineral lipstick worth £20 in each box so do you know what in preparation for that lipstick I'm going to clear off the lipstick on my lips there you go For that um, product so at the top of my box is um, the card telling me what is inside and um, there's no magazine this month um, the last two boxes I had had a, a magazine called glossy I think it was and I'm sure in last month's one it said um, it said that it was moving online so there's no magazine which is good because you know things like that I think do tend to just get chucked in the bin and it just seems a bit of a shame especially if you're not the sort of person that recycles their stuff I do recycle stuff we do recycle stuff at home um, you know I reuse and repurpose the boxes you know if I didn't I would you know toss it into recycling because it's cardboard it should be able to be recycled so this month because it's American themed we've got um, red white and blue going on with the um, packaging Again, I think beauty, uh, this particular beauty box, glossy box, really sort of take care with how they package their, um, their their samples and their products. So I do really like it. And, you know, the ribbon, because it's plain red ribbon, I can actually shove that in my craft stash and use it again at some point. Now, see. So let us begin. We'll start off with the thing that jumped out the most at me as I opened the box, which is this Carmex lip um, balm. I have used Carmex before, it's a really really good lip balm, um, it's one of the ones that you sort of put on your finger and sort of rub over your lips. Um, oh and it does say on the back, Carmex lip balm is now available in squeezable tubes and sticks in addition to the original pot. Which is good because it's always handy to just have a stick and um, sort of rub it across your lips instead of sort of getting your finger a bit greasy. Um, let's have a quick look. Carmex Lip Balm. Loved by celebrities and makeup artists all over the world, Carmex is the original lip balm and the only way to soothe dry chapped lips with menthol, camphor and beeswax. Lips are nourished, conditioned and protected from the elements all year round. You need this staple in your bag. Apply to lips with a clean finger and that's £2.69. So that is a full size because um, obviously that's how it sort of hangs up in the, in the shops. So I will... Crack it open, bin that, and um, use some of that on my lips. I mean, it says it smells of camphor and things, but I can't really smell anything. But I think I've got a bit of a cold. So there's my lip balms, all um, lip balms. I've really lost it today. Today is not a good day to be making videos, but I need to do them because I need to get them done. Um, because I'm all words and what's it and don't know what I'm talking about half the time. But anyway, let's move on to what was promised in the box, which was a full size Bella Pierre lipstick, mineral lipstick, one size twenty pounds. So that's a twenty pound lipstick, um, and it's ten pound for the 
glossy box plus um, 3 95 postage and packing. So far, out of all the boxes, glossy box is the one that has really given me back in value of the products, which I know I mentioned in my other video about, you know, if you subscribe to these beauty boxes, you know, you, you do look to see what value you get for your money each month. And I think glossy box at the moment is winning for me. Now, unfortunately, this is like an orangey colour. Let me see what the colour actually says it is. Mandarina. So yeah, it is orange. Um, so I don't know what's up with orange at the moment because I've got an orange lipstick, lip lube actually it was in the birch box. Um, so I will just put it on my hand for now. Can you see? And um, I will put it on because it actually feels quite nice going just on my hand to test it. Um, but orange really is not my colour whatsoever. Um, it does go on really nicely. Orange tinted um, lip um, balms and stuff does tend to make your teeth look a bit yellower. Pink is better to make them look nice and pearly white. Um, so that's not going to get too much use out of me which is such a shame because obviously it, you know it's a really nice lipstick I've not heard of Bella Pierre before um, but um, you know it's a 20 pound lipstick I've never spent 20 pounds on a lipstick in my life so um, but maybe I can um, no I'm not sure you know if I was nice and bronzed maybe um, so you know maybe it'll go in my bag for America and as I get a tan maybe it'll go on a bit more but um, unfortunately not really my colour um, sometimes I do think with the beauty boxes obviously I know that they're you know a bit of a surprise every month but that's why I quite like lovely beauty because you can pick from three different menus each month I know I said I wasn't going to do a comparison but it looks like I've started doing that so I might as well carry on um, you know at least if you could sort of like pick the colours because I noticed with my birch box when I had a look on there um, for that lip pencil lube thing um, they also had it in purple now we all know I'm a purple pumpkin blog and I quite like purple um, as a makeup and I would have quite liked that colour over the orange that I did get um, but you know never mind nothing we can do about that um, but what we can do is move on to the next product which is this eyeshadow primer um, and it is absolute New York perfecting eyeshadow primer this oil free ultra creamy formula evens skin tone around the eye area and keeps eyeshadow crease free and colour true for a lasting look apply a thin layer over eyelids and gently blend with fingers to create an even base wear products alone to neutralise redness and brighten eyes or under your favourite um, shadow for a prolonged vibrant colour one size $4.99 um, you know so that's another full size product at five bucks um, so that is about, uh, about what, three quid maybe maybe a bit less than that without looking at the um, foreign exchange I won't be able to say for sure but I do have makeup on so does that go uh, blah, 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 blah. so does that go on top of eyeshadow eyeshadow foundation so you would get that you would I'm assuming shove a bit on just to neutralize the redness It'll be interesting to see, you know, because I've got makeup on already. Got a bit of something there. Because I've got makeup on already, um, when I try my makeup out tomorrow, we'll be able to see how that oh how that works out. But having um, got a base um, product which I've never really used before in one of my other boxes a couple of months ago which I use religiously every day it does really make a difference so I have to thank these beauty boxes for that because I was never really um, the sort of chick that would buy too many beauty products other than um, sort of like makeup and stuff um, but I'm sort of being introduced to new products that maybe as I'm getting older I need to now use so um, yeah so that will um, go on tomorrow and we'll see how that works out the next product is Lights Camera Lashes 4 in 1 Mascara. A Euro, a Euro, a US Mascara Hero with lengthening curling, 
polymyosin and conditioning properties for healthy longer lashes. This 4-in-1 mascara is, derm is dermatologist and clinically proven to increase the appearance of lash volume. Place the wand at the base of lashes and sweep to the tip in a zigzag motion. Now one size, £19.50 for 7ml um, and I will say that that is obviously the 7ml. It's a very unusual um, packaging it's not a, you know like a normal like a cylinder it's kind of got a ridge so that might make it weird to hold when you're sort of applying it um and it's got quite a short wand which i always think makes applying mascara that little bit more tricky now again i've already got mascara on so it's almost pointless trying it but nonetheless i say sod it i'm gonna <laughs> But tomorrow I will use it instead of my regular mascara. Zigzag motion it said. I'm always looking for a mascara that will lengthen my lashes without having to resort to falsies as much as I like them. They're not very practical for day to day use. Um, I have to say that has actually added a bit of length onto the ends of the lashes. Um, so yeah, so for £19.50, that wants to do some sort of good job, doesn't it? But um, again, I will try that tomorrow um, when I've got sort of blank, um, a blank canvas to sort of, you know, make up. And finally, yes, finally, we have got Colour Club, Colour Club Glossy Seal. Is that the name of the product? Yeah, the name of the colour, Glossy Seal. Colour Club nail polish is proudly made in New York with only non-toxic cruelty free ingredients the shade glossy seal has been specially formulated for your July glossy box so that's complete like you know I'm assuming you can just buy it in this gloss you can only get it in this glossy box and it says apply two thin coats to clean dry nails and seal with a top coat eight dollars for 15 mil which I'm guessing that this is 15 mil I'm sure I've got another color club I've seen reusing one of my boxes <laughs> to my box of nail polishes and I'm sure there is one, yep, I know I had one, in fact I've got two, which were sample sizes, I've got like a green and a white of the same um, brand, and they both went on really nice, so I know that this is going to go on nice as well, um, it's not a colour I would wear in the summertime, probably more um, in the winter because of it being the blue, and I have got um, nail polish on, I've been doing my Disney nail art today, which is what's all that on my fingers, so I will just shove some on this card instead to see how it comes out. Colour just there. Which obviously looks darker on the screen. Um, but it's quite a dark polish, so really one for the winter. But I can see why they've done it, because obviously with the red, white and blue going on. Shame I didn't get a red lip um, lipstick. That would have been pretty nice instead of the orange. Mm, still not sure about that one. But it did go on really nicely. And um, yeah, so... I know like I'm not a face full of excitement today <laughs> um, but you know a nice selection of products the primer especially for the eyeshadow I look forward to using that the Carmex is a really really good lip balm um, so that will be going in my um, handbag and um, the nail polish will go in my little box over there um, to use uh, later on in the year so that is my glossy box for July and I will look forward to sharing my August box with you um, when August rolls around in a couple of weeks time. So TTFN, take care. Bye.